stupid woodpecker. Okay, guys. Shiver 1000 here. I'll just call this the second update. It is. Let me check my time here. About 242 Wednesday. It's starting to get a little breezier now. A little more rain, but we can walk out here in it. Oh yeah, it's raining. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, shoot. Camera just got soaked. Yeah, the, see, this is what I was talking about, how the wind just kind of comes over top of us. It's really windy up there on that knoll right there. So, yeah, we're going to get something. Let me get you guys wiped off here real quick. Okay. Uh... We do have some palm fronds down there. Nothing major yet. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get anything too bad. So, but you never know. I'm sure we. I'm sure we will lose power, and uh, we're going to get a lot more rain and wind than this. We do have a flood warning, but like I mentioned in the last video, we're we're okay where we're at. We you know we're on this hill, so I've been here with her almost six years. It'll be six years in November, and I've never seen it flood in this area. Well, here we go. I don't know if you guys can hear this because the camera does real well about the wind. Yeah, but it's getting there. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. If it starts getting bad. I just heard a tree limb fall over there. If it starts getting real bad, I'll live stream you. But I got to get my camera wiped off. We just got drenched. So hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. So it is about uh, 2.30, I think. But I got old blue out here because my camera, believe it or not, will not pick up wind. It's 10 miles an hour right now, not right at this point but in this area but above me up in the trees yeah it's it's really blowing pretty hard it's been raining pretty steady not pouring but yeah I can't I can't show you the tree well maybe but yeah it's really uh, it's really getting windy but supposedly it's 10 miles an hour and it's supposed to get up to 27. They, it was like 40 something, then it went down to 32, and then it was 36, and now it's down to 27. But it said today, so I don't know if that means like when it's daytime or, you know, today as in it's after midnight. Because I asked, I asked um, Alexa, I don't want to say it too loud, but. I haven't lost power yet like I said on live stream it flickered a couple times today well I guess yesterday but it's at technically Thursday but it flickered twice 
and uh, but it didn't like go clear out like for a few seconds it like went out for like a half a second came back on just enough to where you knew it went out uh, hang on a second so I got I just went in and got the big light here but it's a spotlight so it's still kind of hard to see yeah it's blowing around pretty good I'll try to zoom in on that a little bit hang on oh yeah can you hear it yeah there it's um, the trees are moving pretty good Oh, look like I just seen something float up there. Or, looks like there's probably just, oh, okay, the wetness. Let's step out here. It's not raining real hard. But it is raining. So, yeah, it's blown harder than it was. Yeah, even my, my phone during my live stream would not pick up the wind. If you listen real close, you could. But, it's an amazing microphone. But my, my AX53, my Sony, whoa. <laughs> Uh, the microphone on it is awesome because it's got the uh, wind cancel canceling setting on it that you can turn on or off. It really helps. But I was really surprised that my phone did as well as it did. Yeah, I don't know if you guys... Let me try to zoom in a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, um, so, want to give you an update. We're still safe. I guess I can back you out now, right? Still safe and we're okay. Ooh, and it's cold. It's actually cool in my garage because uh, air will go, the cool air goes underneath that door. And um, I got the... Uh, the cover for the attic it's open because well the cover actually fell down on me one day a few years ago and I just left it off because it helps in the summertime but yeah when it's cool out here like this is like 69 right now and when it's cool out here like this the cool air comes underneath that underneath the uh, garage door and it pushes that hot air up into the uh, attic and it almost feels like air conditioning in there so yeah so um if it gets any worse i'll bring you back out if not i'll catch you guys in the morning okay guys so it's 10 45 morning monkey's got the window open letting some fresh breeze blow through the house you moved the car oh, the suv Got some, a couple more palm fronds come down, but not the major. Uh, it's breezy. We're supposed to have some high winds all day. There we go. So. Um, but yeah, Monkey says, we're all right now. We're just going to have high winds all day. Uh, the power hasn't went out yet. It's unbelievable. I mean, that's good, but 
yeah, so we'll see what happens here. Um, but I think we'll be all right. We, we'll probably get some follow-up rain and stuff like that, but I think we're going to be all right. So I'm going to give it a few more hours. And then I'll put this video together and upload it for you. But yeah, we should be okay now. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty breezy. I'm not sure. Let's ask Alexa how fast the wind's blowing. Alexa, how fast is the wind blowing? Thanks. <laughs> so, she says it's 8.5 miles an hour, but it's blowing harder than it was last night. But that doesn't necessarily mean right here at this house, of course, because she just gets her, um, her information from the weather, the nearest weather station or whatever. So, um, she said expect 32 miles an hour. Wind's up to 32 miles an hour right now. It's eight and a half, so. But these are not sustained winds, so. They're just um, gusts, so we should be okay. Yeah, it's breezy. I'll give it a little bit longer and then I'll get this put together and uploaded for you guys. But it seems like we made another one okay. <laughs> I hope we don't get a sinkhole here. <laughs> if you didn't see the live stream, that's another story. All right, guys. Hang tight, and I'll be back with you in here in a little bit. Hey, guys. We're going to take a ride around, see if there's any damages in our town. And if there are, you'll see them too. So, a change of plans. We're not in our neighborhood and in our town. We are on the Gulf of Mexico. Monkey wanted to come out and see the waters over here. And it is a lot breezier here than it is at home. So, she's got Bruno out. And I'm going to get out. I'll kick you back on. We've been here once. We came here once to check it out because there's a boat ramp right here. And this is where we want to bring our boat, but I got to do some bearings on the trailer first. But there's these little pulling spots here with picnic tables. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you can camp here. I don't see any fire rings, but that's still cool where you can come in here and have a little picnic. Um, but I don't see any like barbecue grills or anything, but so it's, it's pretty cool. So we're going to get out here. Please excuse the wind, but we're going to go back here. We're going to check the water out. There's a lot of people out today doing different activities and stuff. So let's go see what's going on here. Okay, guys, here we are. I'm talking real close to the mic. Sorry about the wind. Water is very low. Oh, dolphins. There's dolphins. 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 You don't know what I'm talking about. Dolphins. Try to get her attention because she loves dolphins, but the water is very low. like 
five of them. They had their dorsal fins up real high. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I got them, but. Here's the boat ramp. I don't know if the camera picked them dolphins up because I couldn't get zoomed in. Oh, this is a pretty narrow boat ramp. Yeah, this, this water's low, even for low tide. Because the water's usually, well, like the last time we was here, you can see where it usually is. It's usually up in here. Uh, last time we was here, it was high tide. And it came right through, through here. Road ends here. Boater's Code of Ethics. Oh yeah, there's manatees in here too. Yeah, hopefully I got them dolphins, man. That's the most I've ever seen in one spot since I've been down here. Yeah, you can see here where the water will come up. See, this is water right here. So you have to be careful. Like if you can't see that ramp, you think it's here when it, see they made this this wide. And it stops, but then you get, You gotta be careful in this frame. You can see. Drag their trailers. Because you think if the water is up here, you're not gonna know that the ramp is only this wide. Same over the other side. You see what I mean? So, you can see where people's back down here. Tired you didn't know it, I'm glad I know it now. So like I said last time, we were here, the water line, you know, the water was up here. So I would have never known that. Because you think that you got this much width back down there, but you don't. That's about the width of our driveway right there. So, yeah. But yeah, we saw that turkey walking up the street. Yeah, she wanted to come see the water. Our boat would have a field day on that water. Our boat what loves. Do you guys come here? I, maybe. Yeah. Well, look at the ramp. I was just telling these guys. See how wide you think you got? Yeah. Here's where the water line usually is on high tide. Yeah. Yeah. But look, that's that's no wider than our driveway. Yeah. And you can see where people. <laughs> so if you didn't know that. You would think the ramp's as wide as the pavement. Right. And yeah. you go back down here and then you get your big trailer stuff. That's different. Yeah. Maybe they put the like boats down here, I've seen them. I understand that. But they also want to see the right there. Yeah. You see the scrape marks. Yeah. Yeah, they bring boats here. It's a boat ramp. But if you didn't know it was this narrow yeah. and you just you think you got clear of it here. time we were here it was high tide it was up to here yeah I would have never never known that ramp was that narrow well you rocks? can see right there you can see they got tire tracks right there yeah you can, you can. Yeah. Sure can. Yeah. 
huh? Much about it. It doesn't say anything about camping on that sign, so I don't know. Yeah, this water's really low, even for low tide. It's really low. It must be low tide. Eh? Even for low tide. get our boat out here anyway yeah, our boat likes it more out of the water than it does in you get our boat in water like this any kind of swell that that boat's coming out of the water the monkey likes it it scares me but me and Bruno have fun yeah Bruno likes it like when he sees a boat coming towards us he knows I'll cut wide and jump their wake so whenever he sees a boat coming towards us his ears go up he stands up and gets on his haunches and he's ready for the jump. Yeah. And then like if we don't come out of the water or anything, if it's not that big of a wake, he looks disappointed. So yeah, pretty cool. Monkey and I ate over here one day. Yep. I had the best clam chowder I've ever had. <laughs> I had to come to Florida to get clam chowder. But we ate there. And she wasn't feeling, she, her sugar dropped or something. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't feeling well, so we had to sit here for a couple hours yeah. waiting for her to get better because there wasn't no way I could drive because I already had a pitcher of beer. So I had two more while we was waiting on her <laughs> to start feeling better. I'm on my, Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mess around then. I drank pitchers because it was cheaper. Yeah, it was. You get about six beers in a pitcher. I'm gonna stop, but I think their power's out. I don't know. I'm thinking all these trucks, they may, because there was a house back there. A woman was doing something with her plants, and it sounded like they had a generator going, so they might have power outage in this area. Yeah. Because every, everybody's closed up through here. Because there's another little restaurant up here on the right, and there's a little tiki bar on the left, and they were all closed, so they must have power outages. No, I didn't see no um, power. There's cars there, but it could be, yeah. Workers. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a ways away, because we're way out there. We're, it's Crystal River, but it's way, you know. We're still in Citrus County. Mm -hmm. Right now we're about almost 40 minutes from the house. But if we just go to where we usually go fishing, it's it's about 22 minutes, I believe, something like that, from our house to where we go fishing. We haven't been down this road in a while. But they were just too busy, and it was too hot to wait. Yeah. yeah. So we had to go somewhere else. I mean, there was Mother's Day. Yeah. And it was packed, and they said it's going to be at least an hour and a half wait. But since her mom's, you know, considered handicapped, they said, you know, we could probably get her in a little sooner, but not much sooner. Well, you know, it wasn't their fault. I mean, they felt bad. They said, we're so sorry. You're, you're more welcome to wait. But, it, you know, there was no nowhere to wait inside because they were so busy where it was cool. Yeah. And it was really hot that day. So we, uh, we just went. Where did we go? We went somewhere else. We went over to um, the one that we liked, but they were too busy. So we went to the one next door to it. What was it called? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. Black they don't beards? know what. Isn't, huh? that, isn't it called Blackbeards? No. Something like that. We sat outside. Okay, but I'm, yeah. that's I can't remember not narrowing it down any. Yeah, but it's not too far from where we live. Yeah, we'll have to bring her out here. Too. I think we ended up going to Crackers. Yeah. No, we didn't go to Crackers. We went to the one next door. Yeah. Right next door to Crackers. Yeah. They got a bunch.
combo grams there. Yeah, that was pretty good food. Crackers, I think, is one of our favorites. Yeah. That's where we always go and get that giant taco. That thing is huge. <laughs> that so good. It's bigger than a plate. Yeah. It's like, it comes out like on a serving tray type deal. Yeah. It's huge. And I think, I believe they call it an appetizer. Yeah, it is. But no, it's it's a meal for two people, and we still end up bringing. And the price half was like home. ten dollars. Yeah, it was like ten bucks, eight or ten dollars. Two of us ate off of it. And we still took some home. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't think. Well, he's washing, so he's got water. Mm -hmm. You would think they'd be all well, I think but I don't light. know. But yeah, there's a light on back there. But I don't know. So anyway, yeah, we'll have to bring our boat out here once I get thinking about just putting a new axle in it. Because if I buy new hubs and bearings, it's going to be you know almost well, it's going to be a hundred bucks. And we gotta we gotta buy tires, well wheels and tires because it's cheaper to buy the wheels and tires already on. Besides, it's got steel wheels on it, and I want to go with um, galvanized. For hundred dollars more, I can just get a whole new axle, you know, right. new spindles, and so for I'm guessing for around three hundred bucks, I can just put new axles, springs, spindles, hubs, wheels, and tires on it, and it'll be ready to go. And then we can go farther places yeah, like ready. this. <laughs> well, you know, we've got a spare, so that doesn't concern me that much. But you know, you're coming down here, and your wheel bearing starts going out. What do you do? You know, I mean, you're having it towed back. So, because that, that trailer, it's a decent trailer. It's just not built for that boat. There's too much weight on it, you know. Well, we really need to get a new trailer. Yeah, there's too yeah. much weight on it because I think that's a actually a jet ski trailer. <laughs> and we got 900 pounds. Yeah, we got 900 pounds on it, you know. Yeah. Um, so that'll wear them out and it's got them little tiny wheels and tires which spin, you know, twice as fast as, you know, a car, if not more. So it really wears the bearings out. So if I put a new axle in, I'll upgrade on the axle and go with the next size up tire and wheel. Or if I can find, you know, a trailer for four or five hundred bucks, we'll just buy it and sell ours, you know. Yeah. Saw a trailer for 400 bucks. Title, lights, had new lights and everything on it. Just perfect for that boat. And uh, we didn't have the money. No. No. Zella water. Yeah, that was a Zella back there. Yeah. Out uh, there, uh, park or whatever. Okay, they yeah, got they some have... lights on there. I don't think That's they had the lights when we came up. I they think might they might have just turned on because yeah. I don't remember that light being on. No. Mm -hmm. So they might have got the power going. That's why we've seen the trucks leaving. Yeah. Because there's all kind of there's all kinds of power trucks through here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's pretty cool. They got their they parked their car up on a big island type thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So this must be a Zella. Yeah, see they have a light and they didn't have an on when we Yeah, came they up. didn't have lights on when we came up either. Must yeah. have just got them on. So yeah, so they were without power, but yeah, lights on now. They weren't on. Place is well, it's not looking around the place. <laughs> looking to buy a place. But it's gotta be on the water. I don't wanna be on a swamp. We yeah. was talking about that. Yeah. I said as long as it ain't swamp, but I said even if there was swamp, that would give us an excuse to buy an airboat. Yeah, it would. <laughs> you know, you you need like an inch of water. Well, you don't even need that. You can run an airboat in your yard if you want. <laughs> right? Yeah, look how low this water is. Yeah. Weird. I told her, watch, we'll get way back in here. Because this road dead ends right back there where we were at, at the ramp. And I told her, I said, watch, we'll get a freak storm surge and get flooded in and no way to get home. <laughs> It's just really low. Like we couldn't get our boat back in here. Even even high tide. Um, no, no, we couldn't get it back in here. Maybe right in here we could. But that's really low, and I wonder why. I don't know. So anyway, I'll kick you back.
back on in a minute. Yep. Okay, a little update. The wind, I just checked, and the wind is blowing 13.8 miles an hour. So, pretty breezy out here. If I knew we was coming to Crystal River, I would have brought my drone. Sorry. I, th I just thought we were just going to drive around our neighborhood and see what's going on, but she headed over here. So, when we get back to our town and in our neighborhood, we'll see what's going on. Hang tight. Okay, guys, we're at this other spot where we usually go fishing. Again, it's going to be real windy. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to try to talk loud or get up close to the mic for you. Um... Over there's the pier we usually fish off of. We'll go over there here in a minute, but check this out. This is very low. You can see all the seawall over there where the water usually is. And we've been here low tide, and it's never this low on low tide. So you can see where the water level is. It's never this low, low tide. So we're gonna walk around here and I'll kick you back on here in a minute. Okay guys, so you look across there, look how low that is. Never that low on low tide. We've never seen it that low. Nowhere close to that. Oops. Very, very low. Huh. So right out there, looks like someone's crab trap or something. See the buoy? Water went so low, it just dropped the crab trap right on the ground. Oh, wow. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, even low tide, I've never seen it this low. That's what I just said. Yeah. There used to be two benches here, but one of them got taken out. Then I'll take you over here and show you. Um. This is where Monkey caught that stingray. But, uh, yeah, I'll take you over there and show you that. Wow. Yeah, it's never this low on low tide either. Look at that. Amazing. Also, guys, tell me what you think about this. We just went over, there's a beach. Just where we turn in here, if we, you follow that road out, just a couple miles, there's a beach and a boat ramp. They're charging $10 a day here now and here. It used to be free. Last time we was out here, it was free. It's $10 now for the day. So it's 10 bucks to put your boat in. Now this is state owned. Now doesn't our taxes pay for all this? This is not private. This is state owned. Our taxes pay for this, right? So they tax us so we can have these places to use like the bathrooms and all this and upkeep and maintenance and all that. But then they charge us to use it. I don't think any state owned park, campground, boat ramp, I don't think they should charge you to come and use it. You're already paying for it. Gosh, that just, I mean, that irritates me so bad. All about the money. Thanks, Biden. So, check this out. Normally, you don't see these rocks. You might see those little things sticking up. Like them little weeds. But, I mean, I knew it was rocky in here, but I didn't think they were that big. There's someone's old net. It got tangled up there. Yeah, we've we've seen manatees swimming right through 
right through here. This is, uh, I and mean, look at that out through there. But you can see right there, that's a boat dock. Ain't gonna be using it today. Yeah. Oh, we never seen these rocks this this low before. No. Nope. Not even low tide. No, it's lower than low tide. Yeah. Well, it might even be low tide, but that makes it even lower. So. Yeah. And then over here, we have like a beach over here. Yeah, we've had our we've had our boat up there about a mile from here, as far as we came. down this way one time. Well, in fact, the day I lost my my rod and reel, a fish grabbed it and took it. Or, well, I, I'm guessing it's a, it was a fish, but... Yeah. Huh. Amazing what a storm can do. But remember, all this water goes out, it's got to come back in. That's why there's storm surge warnings. Because when the water goes out, if it comes back in too fast, you know, that's when you get bad flooding. There's that crab trap. Amazing. Yeah, there's no boats. Huh. Okay, guys. Let's see if we can get down here. See what kind of fishing stuff we can find. Ugh. Shit. I don't have my boots on, so it's probably not a good idea. Ooh, very soft. <laughs> Got a float. There's an old, there's an old crab trap. <laughs> Been there for a long time. I figure somebody's probably already come through here and got all the good stuff. You know, the lures and stuff like that. Well, we got one item. Monkey spotted it from up here on the dock or the the pier Whoa. wow <laughs> big difference from these shoes and my boots let me tell you but yeah you can see where the high tide comes comes clear up here it's Yeah. Yeah, you'd think you'd find more lures. But like I said, other people probably come out here. That's about 1.30 now. Probably come out this morning. And you walk along here and you'll find lures and hooks and sinkers. And probably a few monkeys hooks and sinkers in here. Probably about $20 worth. Okay guys. Yeah, see when when it's high tide it comes up to here because we've seen a lot of boats. When it's high tide, they'll pull up here to go to the bathroom or get out and walk around thinking it's all grass down through here and they'll hit the bottom of their boats. 
seen a couple of them stuck up here because they wanted to run up in here and it turns out well see you can see these chip marks that's from boats coming up here high tide and uh, trying to get up here on the grass and they don't know this seawalls here because you can't see them when it's high tide either but yeah they get caught up here all the time all right guys i'll be back with you see there's some shoe prints looks like boating shoes or whatever that people's walked through here already and you know getting hooks and sinkers and stuff off of this tree and you know just people uh like lures and stuff that people was casted out and lost because they get snagged up now you can walk down there and, and get it so i'm not going down there because someone's already been here so if there was anything it's gone now because you know there'd be a lot of stuff there because people try to cast out through here with their lures as you can see it's a it's a well beaten path there so they cast out through there i've seen them doing it and uh you know they'll get snagged up well when it's you know when the water how low tide is you usually can't see this on low tide so yeah all that that's footprints down through there so yeah they've came and got any lures so because you know you can't get out there and get them if you lose them so so like right here people will pull in pull up in here and get off and then go over there and go to the bathroom but there's restrooms right there so i don't know why but i have seen them pull their boats up here and walk over there and go to the bathroom somehow i lost monkey and the dog i don't know where they're at i seen them coming this way oh i found them way over there that's her <laughs> okay all right guys again sorry for the wind but you know we just had a hurricane roll through so it's going to be windy i'm sure we'll get more rain but uh we just wanted to kind of come out and check out things you can see all the palm fronds laying around here so as soon as all this dies down they'll get the the crews out here and get all this picked up that you know we we pay <coughs> with our taxes and then we got to pay to use this place we didn't pay i don't know if you got to pay just to come out here and walk around or if it's just for the boat launch but either way you know ten dollars to launch your boat for one day what if i go out and want to spend the night do night fish and whatnot spend the night on my boat i come back the next day my vehicle's still there they're going to charge me another day and that's not right the locals it's 25 dollars a year still too much because it should be free and you know i've said that before and i've had people comment well some that money goes to upkeep and everything not on a state park taxes pay for that so you you've already paid and now you got to pay to use it and then like if we wanted a yearly to pay the annual fee here it'd be 75 dollars for us because we're not local <laughs> no thank you all right let's go check this out real quick on his adventure day he hasn't been out in a while well i mean oh is that fish yeah but he hasn't been no it ain't he hasn't uh, been on an adventure in a while so we thought we'd bring him today oh wow look at that little tiny stream and it's usually from there to there even on low tide now look, it's just a stream. <laughs> Amazing what a storm can do. Yeah. We were 
coming back this way and I happened to look down and see Monkey's camera in the console with the red light on. She was filming a bunch of nothing. <laughs> she'll get our voices, I'm sure, so that should be interesting. So check her out. I'm sure she'll put it on on an outtake at the end of her video or something. But uh yeah. I might even borrow that clip. She's usually borrowing a lot of clips off of me, but I might borrow that one from her because it's <laughs> Thing you so what we're wondering is, and she's always, my this camera, the battery's sucking it because they're always running down. Yeah. It's because you always have your camera on. Well, I think it's on. That means it had to be on in order for it to be recording. Because I turn the watch off, and and it shows that the camera is off. No, it sh it shows off. it shows that it's not recording. <laughs> No, it's turned off. It, like when you look at the screen, okay, but, it's not on. Okay, but can I finish? <laughs> Here's the thing. It's on standby. That's what you said. So now. Uh, that's what I know. When I turn off my watch. Because I read your instruction book. I you also didn't. So turn it back on and turn it off to make sure. So the battery, I think, is lasting longer. Oh, of course, because. Just because the red light ain't on, it's still on standby. That's why when you would turn your your watch thing on, it would automatically sync up. Yeah. Because it wasn't turned off. Well, it should turn off when you turn it off. But it's not, so. Okay, that doesn't control the power on that. You have to shut it off manually. Yeah, and see, I thought the screen was off. I thought the screen, because it will show it's like this when I hit the yeah, button. Yeah, it's on standby. Here. And then I thought it was off when it really wasn't. No, off. it's on standby. Yeah. But yeah, so. Pretty cool. I think this paid for our trip, didn't it? There you go. I got it for you. Well, yeah, well, I can't use it. How do you use it? It's a bobber. The same way you use a bobber. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. I'm surprised we didn't find more. Well, you see all these feet prints along here? People's already been here. Getting stuff. Lures. and Because, you know, people lose expensive $15, $20 lures out yeah, here. Yeah. So. Look at all the, ink, all the stuff we've lost. That's the all them feet prints? Yeah. That's from them going down and getting stuff. Like in them trees and stuff, because even low tide it goes clear up that tree, so you can't get out there to get it. No. Well now they can, so. Alright, I'll be back with you. Oh, he's eating something. He found something. I'm not gonna bother him. He's eating. <laughs> Cute. Okay, guys, so back home, kind of drove around our neighborhood and nothing. We all did did well. That's good to see. I mean, we got some palm fronds now, but that's about it here in our yard, but a couple streets over and stuff. There's nothing. So we did good, and that's good. Um, I got to go up there, it looks like. Yeah. Um, the tarp up there, I got to... It came down a little bit so i'm gonna have to get up there before it rains i'll do that here shortly right up there at the top because the rain will run down in there and it'll leak okay so what do you think mama well, it was fun nice to get out yeah seen a free lawnmower along the road the battery power but no battery by the time you buy buying batteries you ain't gonna get nothing out of them so mm. i just left it Probably could could have used the wheels and stuff like that and stripped it down, but yeah, if there was a couple of them, I would have. Yeah. But just for four wheels and a switch, I'm not gonna <laughs> waste my time on it. Yeah. All right, guys. So Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend, gone for now. We survived another one. Now I gotta get up on the roof. That might be another video. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. So I'll get up there and get that taken care of. And, uh, yeah, it's ripping is what it's doing. We need to get another tarp. Yeah. That was like $72, and it's done well. Yeah. 
over a year. Yeah. Probably get another smaller tarp and put over that next time. That was way too big, but I wanted to make sure. Okay, guys. Anyway, have a good one, Monk. Monk says stuff for now. Bye. Don't forget to check out her video where she left her camera rolling. And we'll oh. see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.